The generous support of the BHP Foundation has come at such an important time. We have for many years uh, been undertaking foundational work in building systems models to support mental health policy and planning and promoting its use to decision makers at national, state and regional levels. But the advent of COVID has really catalyzed interest in systems modeling as a valuable tool to inform sound decision making, even in the midst of the uncertainty of an evolving crisis. The COVID mental health modeling work led by Dr. Adam Skinner last year, importantly demonstrated how systems models could be rapidly deployed to inform our responses to the mental health threat, just as it has been informing the response to the physical health threat. Over the past 12 months, we've, been, uh, we've had invitations to speak not only at important national forums, including the National Press Club of Australia, but also to international forums hosted by the Cambridge Judge Business School, Public Health England, the Swiss School of Public Health, the Global Development Learning Network, which is an affiliate of the World uh, Bank, um, and Korean Development Institute, the WHO and Swiss TPH, uh, and the UK-based Cypher Consortium. Last year, we were invited to write a piece for the World Economic Forum's Agenda magazine on modelling the trajectory of the COVID mental health crisis. By September this year, digital technologies and systems modelling were rated number one and number two in the top 10 innovations in mental health in 2021, which was published in Scientific American. Then in late September, the publication of our paper in Nature calling for the increased uptake of systems modeling in the global mental health response represented an important scientific platform for drawing, drawing attention to the approach. A week later, UNICEF published their latest report on the state of the world's children, uh, reporting that worldwide, at least 13% of people between the ages of 10 and 19 live with a diagnosed mental health disorder. And this was the first time uh, in the organization's history that this flag flagship report tackled the complex challenge of youth mental health. Nature Journal followed up releasing a collection of articles on the state of the science in terms of uh, innovations to prevent and treat common uh, mental disorders in youth. And journal editors emphasized, and I quote, that along with the UNICEF report, the studies underscore the transformational part that funders must urgently play um, and why researchers, clinicians and communities must work together on research that genuinely involves young people as co-investigators. So momentum is building for innovative solutions to the global challenge to improve uh, youth mental health. And at almost every forum we speak at and regularly appearing in my inbox are two recurring questions. How can we replicate the systems modeling work that you've been doing in Australia in our country? And how do you know the, the approach will help bring forward the impact and change we need? These are important questions that to me really drive home why um, the support of the BHP Foundation for the Right Care First Time Where You Live program has been so timely and of national and international importance. Over the course of this year, the team have been uh, able to document in a really detailed way all the knowledge acquired over many years of undertaking this sort of work and working with our partners to achieve new levels of innovation. The first protocol on the technical aspects of youth mental health systems modeling was published in Frontiers in Psychiatry in mid-October. And there are a number of additional protocols uh, that are currently under peer review. Through the implementation of the program over the coming years, we have an opportunity to work together to refine these tools, technologies and guidelines. We look forward to the reciprocal learning that will no doubt occur as we work together to understand what works to make this approach a success across diverse contexts and to ensuring governments take up the approach nationally and internationally. There are eyes all around Australia and all around the world watching to see how this work unfolds. I couldn't be more proud to work with such a competent and passionate team. And I'm delighted to work in partnership with you all to set the benchmark for gold standard application of 21st century tools and technologies 
to support mental health reform, system strengthening, and real improvements in the lives and opportunities of young people.